Lovely to see you. I'm so glad you're coming back to Corrie. How exciting. Oh, What's it like looking at those clips? Because she had some great storylines, didn't you know, she? You know, I was looking at those clips and I can't actually remember doing those clips. <laughs> I was like, did I actually do that? Um, but no, I'm loving being back. Yeah. It's so much fun. Really, really enjoying it. Uh, what's that? Because we all say that it's like the first day back at school sometimes when you've had time off to have a baby, which you've had beautiful Matilda. Yes. But she's just been amazing for me and, and done everything. So, so Rosie has been off in Miami. We know that following her modelling career. Yeah. and then Sophie went to stay yeah and they're coming back uh, next Monday so what can we expect without ruining the story yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. we, we want to know have you reformed yeah <laughs> well Ro Rosie comes back and you know she's um she's so much fun to play she's like so glamorous and she just kind of doesn't fit in in the street because she's just all wow. um yeah <laughs> and um she comes back with this uh with this package um, but it's really innocent. She doesn't realise that her boyfriend has planted this on her. Uh, so basically, yeah. well, yeah. But basically, she kind of it all. Um, she kind of gets her sister involved, and it just becomes a massive. She's just mess. trouble wherever she goes. Yeah. Really. But she really <laughs> doesn't mean her. to. She really doesn't mean to get herself into any trouble. She's just really innocent with it, and she doesn't realise that this package. Um, but it's going to get tricky. It's just been so much fun, and I feel really lucky actually to go into work and just actually see your friends and yeah. just have so much fun. So, yeah, I've been really, really, really enjoying it. And is it true that you've asked for Rosie to be a bit of a nicer character this time, not as wild as she was? Well, I didn't ask for it. They actually kind of wrote for me more in that way. I love playing the comedy, but I think it's kind of hard, really. Uh, I didn't enjoy it when they kind of played her a bit more catty because it's hard to relate and hard to play. Um, I didn't find that as easy to play, where I like it when she's got more of a good heart. I mean, obviously, you don't want your characters to be boring, yeah, you know, yeah. but is I just that, love playing the comedy. Is that partly because when people see the show, they can't distinguish, you know, between you and the character. Have um, you had experience of that? Well, no, I mean, I, I remember, obviously, I've always done Coronation Street, and then, um, after I did the jungle, then um, everyone would kind of say more like Helen. But um, I'm just really enjoying now kind of going back to my home, going back to Coronation Street. And, and you're staying with your mum and dad, didn't you? Um, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, I'm staying with my mum and dad. Mum so and dad Scott, and you and Scott and, and Matilda live in Scotland now because he's playing for a, a team in Scotland. So me and Matilda live with my mum and dad during yeah. the week and then at the weekends we go down to Glasgow because uh, Scott uh, plays for Celtic, so that's what we do at the weekend. Oh, so that's quite hard, you're separated. But you know, it's really lovely actually um, because it's kind of nice to have kind of a break uh, with that. And yeah, it's, it's not, I mean, I suppose it's not easy, but I really wanted to go back to work yeah. and um, I've always been really supportive of his career and he's really supportive of mine and so so yeah absence makes the heart grow fond yeah. they say in ways. it makes the ex weekends more exciting now helen obviously I, I grew up in a soap just like yourself and obviously there isn't a day goes by where someone says are you going back are you going back and was it an easy decision for you to make to go back because obviously for me personally the reason i left was i hit some really dark times and bad times i needed to leave that, that well honestly i just really, i just really really wanted to go back you know so i was just really excited when they asked me to go so and you've got yeah. a three-month contract haven't you, you yeah yeah i've got a three-month contract well, a not too sure, um, but I would I would love to. I'm really really enjoying it. And is there going to be a love interest in there for you? <gasps> Oh. Um, well, there's kind of a spark with um, Adam Barlow, yeah. which I think they're, they're really quite funny together, Rosie and Adam. But he's a bit of a ladies' man and he's... A um, bit. Yeah, he's, he's, a bit, he's a bit of a ladies' right. man. And Who would be your dream one to get partnered up with on the series? I can't really... But as I was saying before, um, in an interview, I can only see Rosie really actually at the moment with Adam because I, I kind of think they kind of suit together. I can't really see anyone else on the street no. that she'd kind of be with. Because she's glamorous now isn't she she's, she's all a she's bit showbiz and, yeah. <laughs> I'll just ask a personal question are you a bit tidier now in the home that you used to <laughs> yes because oh, you never, in, you you never picked a towel up she never did any more shit she picked up everyone's socks no it, it sounds awful no no I, I, I am yes, no you've got yeah. the baby you've got yes baby, no I yeah. am well I do try to be yeah <laughs> thank god for that how long ago were you two in the jungle 2012 2012 yeah and you really looked after me I did you remember my song what I used to sing you I know I was oh the black cat we did white cat so I the white cat said goodbye. The black cat said, You're right, you shouldn't have been. They kept us going. Well, listen, we shall watch Rosie Webster with interest. She's back on Coronation Street. It's next Monday, the 6th of February, but um, it's really lovely to see you. Helen Fanny. Thank you very much. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces and click here to subscribe.
It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.